In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to balance chemical equations containing ionic compounds with polyatomic ions. Question one reads, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between aqueous strontium chloride and aqueous lithium phosphate to form solid strontium phosphate and aqueous lithium chloride. Let's start by writing the chemical formulas for these compounds. Starting with strontium chloride, strontium is a metal found in the second column so it has a charge of 2 plus and a symbol of SR. So we have SR and that is with chloride. So chlorine has a symbol of CL. It also is found in the second last column and it has a charge of 1 minus. So our final formula will be SR subscript 1 which we don't need to write CL2. Now lithium phosphate. Phosphate is a polyatomic ion and it can be found right here where it has the formula PO subscript 4, 3 minus. Lithium on the other hand is the third element in the periodic table and has the symbol Li and a charge of 1 plus. So we have Li, PO, 4 and the charge of phosphate will be placed as the subscript for lithium. Nothing will be placed beside the PO4 and this yields solid strontium phosphate, strontium has the symbol SR, phosphate is PO4, 3 negative, the 3 will go here, and strontium's charge of 2 plus, that 2 will go right here. Plus, we have lithium chloride, that's LiCl, lithium with a charge of 1, and chlorine with a charge of 1 minus, that doesn't influence the chemical formula. Now that step one is out of the way, creating the formula, we have to start balancing. And unlike before, whenever you have a polyatomic ion, you want to treat it as if it's its own element. For example, we want to write down SR, Cl, Li, and the PO4 will be treated as its own element. So we have PO4. The same elements will be on the right side, SR, Cl, Li, and PO4. Let's count the amount of strontium atoms so far. We have one. How many chlorines? We have two, three lithiums, and one phosphate. On the other hand, we have two phosphates, one lithium, one chloride, and three strontiums. Let's begin by balancing the strontium on the left side. I'll multiply this by three. This makes it a three in the chlorines change, it becomes a 6, 3 times 2 is 6, so the strontiums are balanced and nothing else is. Let me put a 6 in front of lithium chloride. This ends up giving me 6 lithiums, 6 chlorines, and now we have the strontiums and the chlorides are balanced, that's good. Let's go back to the left side. We have 3 lithiums, I can multiply this compound by 2, and that makes this a 6, but now I have two phosphates. We have a perfect balance on the left and the right side and that represents your answer to question one. Now moving on to question number two. We are expected to write a balanced equation for the reaction between aqueous lead 2 nitrate and aqueous potassium chloride which forms solid lead 2 chloride and aqueous potassium nitrate. Let's start by creating the formulas for these chemical compounds. Starting with lead 2 nitrate, lead, which has the chemical symbol Pb, has two charges, 2 and 4. We're told that it has a charge of 2. Nitrate, on the other hand, is a polyatomic ion. In fact, it has the chemical formula NO3-1-. To create the formula for lead 2 nitrate, we'll write down Pb, the symbol for lead, NO3, and since nitrate has a charge of 1 minus, that doesn't influence the subscript of the Pb. However, Pb has a charge of 2, so I'll place that as the subscript for NO3. Moving on to potassium chloride, potassium is a metal, and it has the chemical symbol K. So we have KCl. K has a charge of 1 plus, Cl has a charge of 1 minus. Therefore, this is the formula for potassium chloride. This yields 
solid lead to chloride. Lead, once again, is Pb. Chlorine has a charge of 1 minus, so that won't influence the subscript of Pb. But Cl will have a subscript of 2. Lastly, aqueous potassium nitrate can be represented as KNO3. Remember, potassium has a charge of 1 plus and nitrate has a charge of 1 minus. That cancels out. So this is the final chemical formula. Now that we've written it down with confidence, let's write down all of the elements on the left side and the elements on the right side. So we have Pb, NO3, K, and Cl, the same on the right side, Pb, NO3, K, and Cl. We have one lead atom on each side. We have two nitrates on the left side, one on the right side, one potassium on the left side, one chlorine, one and two. Let's start by multiplying this by two. Now we have two chlorines, two potassiums. The chlorines are balanced, the potassiums are not, and neither are the nitrates. However, if I put a two over here, I end up with two potassiums and two nitrates, and that seems to be perfectly balanced. And there you have it. That is how to balance chemical equations containing ionic compounds with polyatomic ions.